this should be everything I need to make a memory card for the PS2 and PS1 that saves to an SD card. Wish me luck. Right, here it is with the motherboard placed in place with the screen underneath it and you have to be careful to make sure it's seated correctly because you have to solder those pins while it's in place. This is why you have to solder it in place while it's sitting in place because it doesn't sit flush to the board, it sits just far enough away that the pins are a set distance and if you don't solder it in place then the screen like that, the screen won't be in the right place when you sit it down into the enclosure. Next thing to do is to test it and then cut the excess off and seal it all up. Right, so it's all put together, power's on, screen works and stuff. Um, the only problems I have are with the casing, these buttons are very hard to press and I don't know if you can see, the memory card won't come out because the, um, the edge of the casing is just slightly off in where it's been pressed. So either I've not centred the bottom correctly, although, you know, it's screwed in as it is, so I can't see how that could be, or I've done something else wrong. But I can just adjust those holes with a file to make it better. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. I recentered the board by moving it upwards and then tightening the screws, and that seems to have fixed the problem with the buttons. And I took off just a little bit at the edge where this memory card was sticking, and now it comes out easily. I mean, you, you've got to expect a bit of finicky with 3D prints, but you can adjust it with a hand file fairly easily. So it's all good. I'm looking at printing a, well, I've ordered a black colored case so that I can uh, paint part of it and have it look nice and cool. But uh, this one works fine for now. Uh, like and subscribe and stuff.